Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. What stray dogs in Moscow learned how to do has researchers completely baffled. Of all the pets that people can own, dogs are some of the smartest. Ask any pet owner you know and they'll tell you how often their pet's personality and loyalty play into their lives every day. This is why they're such popular addition to families. Anyone who's ever doubted the intelligence and resourcefulness of man's best friend need only take a look at the Russian capital of Moscow to see the truth. In addition to being home to the Kremlin, Moscow houses upwards of 35,000 stray dogs. But it's what these dogs have learned to do that's truly remarkable, and it's baffling animal researchers. Dogs are some of the smartest and most loyal animals any pet lover can own, and you can bet that anyone who owns one will immediately stand by that statement. Dogs have distinctive personalities, just like humans, and they're quite smart, too. One city that knows all about the intelligence of dogs is Moscow, Russia. Not only are dogs a popular pet there, but Moscow is also home to some 35,000 stray dogs that roam the streets and live among the residents. In Moscow, there are all sorts of stray dogs, but there are no stupid dogs, Dr. Andrei Poyakov told ABC. That must be true, as the dogs of Moscow streets have learned to do something amazing. Can you guess what it is? Why, they've learned to ride public transit, of course. For commuters in the Russian capital, it isn't all that uncommon to share a seat with a canine. In fact, it's become a normal part of people's daily commute. No one even bats an eye when they see a dog taking a quick nap. The dogs have mastered the massive subway system, hustle and bustle included, and use it to travel to the most fertile hunting ground in the center of the city. The dogs know exactly where they need to go and they get there efficiently. Once the dogs arrive, they immediately disperse all over the area in search of food. Most of them arrive rather hungry, so they're intent on finding what they came for. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world in Moscow, and everyone has to fend for themselves. Researchers say that the dog's use of the transit system is evidence of their possession of what's called flexible, open-ended reasoning and conscious thought. They're essentially able to understand complex ideas, such as the subway systems, like humans do. The dogs have also been seen obeying traffic signals and employing a variety of tactics to procure food from humans. They know that humans are some of their best chances to obtain food. If they rely too heavily on leftovers in the trash, they might be out of luck. The dogs will even try to scare people carrying food by barking in the hopes that the startled person will drop their food. It doesn't always work and the people of Moscow now know the tricks that they use, but once in a while, a good scare yields them supper. It might seem hard to believe that dogs actually know how to use public transportation, but if you think about it, these dogs were forced to learn due to their need to acquire food. This goes to show you that an animal will do whatever it takes to survive. The dogs of Moscow didn't just begin riding public transportation out of the gate. It was an amazing talent they acquired over a long period of time. This incredible evolution is amazing to witness in action. Please share this with your friends and family.